Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're going to be looking at an e-commerce email marketing and automation platform called Omnisend. Now in this Omnisend review, I want to show you exactly what Omnisend is, how it actually works, and by the end of the video, you should know if Omnisend is right for you. And just to let you know, Omnisend is free to get started and if you want to help support the channel, make sure you get started using the link in the description. So first of all, what is Omnisend? Like I mentioned earlier, it is an email marketing platform, but it also includes SMS messaging. If you directly want to send messages to your uh, customers' phones, it also has push notifications, which are going to actually go directly to their devices. And then you can automate the entire process between those three different categories. Now, the great thing about this too, is you can actually install it so quickly and add automation templates with just a few clicks of a button, which makes Omnisend an amazing choice if you own an e-commerce store but you're not too savvy with the technical aspects of it because this is going to make you become a pro so what I'm actually going to do is jump behind the screen and show you how Omnisend works okay so let's start off here at the Omnisend website what I'm gonna do is quickly run through some of the features that are available in case I miss out on them during this review video so if we come to the features tab you will notice once you hover this little box appears and it shows us that they have everything from marketing automation to email marketing to SMS messaging as well as web push notifications pop-ups and forms audience sync for ads which basically means depending on what people do depends on how you can actually segment them in your advertising so you can market directly to people that only do certain things and then we've also got reporting and benchmarks and they've recently released something called the customer intelligence which i don't know too much about but what i can imagine it does is actually it analyzes all of your statistics based on your products and your customers and it gives you certain segmentations and information about each particular one really good for scaling if you are a high volume e-commerce store because you can really narrow things down and laser target the right audience so just before we get into the uh, review video i just want to quickly go over the pricing just so you know what's in store so basically we have once again the free plan that you don't need a credit card or anything to get started with once again links in the description if you want to check it out and basically what this is going to allow you to do on the zero dollar per month plan is have up to fifteen thousand emails that sent per month which is uh, two thousand emails max per day but you can do things like create sign up forms have sales reports and performance reports as well as customers segmentation and analytics then we also have the next plan up which is the standard plan this allows you to have sms messaging included which is really cool you also have the automation builder and everything like that as well as the workflow templates and you do have uh, more priority uh, support if you do wish and then we've got the pro which allows you to have actually a hundred dollars worth of sms credit added each month so you're paying $99 but you get $99 worth of free credits for SMS so it works out as free if you do send a lot of SMSs really cool but you also have web push notifications as well as that audience sync which I talked about earlier and you have advanced reporting and you've also got what is called the customer success manager um, I don't know too much about it but it sounds like someone that's there to help you along with it now if you want to learn more about these plans as well if you come down a little bit further you can see we've got a basic breakdown here as well We've got the different channels. So once again, you can send 15,000 for free per month using the free plan. And then you've got all everything else here as well. Then you've got all the different lists for marketing automation, campaigns, segmentation, clients, forms, and content editing, sales reports, and there's so much other things inside of here as well. Now, just to let you know the integrations before we get into it as well, I know a lot of people are interested in that. They do integrate with all of your main uh, e-commerce platforms, things like Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce. They also have a native API you can use as well as Zapier, Shopify Flow, and TDO Live Chat. And then you've got all these other different types of ones here as well. So there's plenty to choose from. So let's get started. I'm gonna go into my dashboard and show you how Omnisend works okay so here we are now just to let you know when you actually do get started there is going to be an onboarding sequence similar to this when you first get started and basically the first step it's going to ask you to do is to connect your online store with omnisend now just to let you know if you do add a store to omnisend they are going to verify that the store is legitimate so it can take it took me about five hours i think to get my store approved that's why i'm not going to walk you through that process right here but once you've got that done you can go ahead and actually start creating your workflows and everything like that 
And just to show you the store, this is a quick store I created using Divi, everything's using WooCommerce. Um, and all you need to do to actually sync these two things is add in the OmniSend plugin, which you can download once you actually get started, and just paste in your API key and press sync, and then it will actually go ahead and take all the contacts that you already have in your existing store, It'll go and take all your existing orders. It'll take all the current products in your store, as well as the categories and the carts, and it's actually going to add them inside of OmniSend. So you can install OmniSend at any phase of your business, either you're starting or you're um, already been around for say a year or more. And it's actually gonna go ahead and take all the data and integrate it to OmniSend so you can carry on as if you've started with OmniSend. It's a very cool thing um, to actually integrate all of that. So once your store's actually been uh, accepted, it's been added into OmniSend, you can actually start playing around with all of the different features inside of it. So if I was to give you a quick walkthrough of OmniSend, at the top here we have the dashboard. Next we have our campaigns, which is basically when you want to send out broadcasts, so you can do so in the campaigns. Next we have the automations tab where you can go ahead and create your own workflows, which I'll go through in a second. Next we have forms, which is where you wanna actually create your forms to start collecting emails. Then we've got our audience, which is gonna show all of our different people that have gone through it. These are all just fake ones that I've actually created just to test it out. And then finally, we have got reports, which is gonna show you all of your reports for certain timeframes. So it's a very simple dashboard, but it's very easy to use. Now, if you were to add more stores, just to let you know, you can come down here to switch store and you can also add in different stores or else you can go to account management and store settings and add them inside of there as well. And there is also some different apps you can choose from, um, but I won't be going into those today. So let's go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna continue on with the onboarding sequence just because it's the natural way you're supposed to set things up. So next I'm gonna go ahead and create a workflow. Now if you come in here, the best thing about OmniSend is the pre-made automation campaigns, right? So if you don't know much about email marketing, if you're not a professional at understanding what goes where, the good news is everything's already laid out. You just have to choose a workflow that sounds good or is relative to what you're actually trying to create. And it's gonna go ahead and create the basics for you. So let's just say we wanna use uh, an abandoned cart sort of flow. All you need to do is click on customize workflow and what it's going to do is create a brand new automation campaign for you. And then we just need to come through and add some different things. So let's go ahead and explore what we can do in here. Now on the left, you can see we have here show stats. At the moment, I haven't actually got any in here, but once you have started using this automation workflow, you can quickly uh, toggle that to see the different types of stats that you actually have and the people that have come through. Next, we have messages, uh, sorry, emails, SMS, push notifications. So if for some reason you wanted to add something into the workflow, you can easily do that, as well as delays, tag, contact, split, and A-B testing. It's really easy to do. Simply just drag and drop and drop it where there is a plus. So it's real simple to do. Now for this particular workflow, it's a very simple workflow to actually edit because majority of it's already made. Uh, one thing to note though, if you are starting from scratch, you when you click on here, you will notice that it says send this email address and it may be blank. You will have to actually verify the email. I quickly just did it before um, just to show you that this thing actually works. So that has gone ahead and been verified. So it is now easy to go. So this is gonna be the first email that actually gets sent out to all customers. And basically it is triggered from this first initial uh, automation, which is uh, if they've add items to cart but didn't make a purchase, it's actually going to wait an hour and then it's gonna send them this message with a uh, subject line still shopping. And then it's got a pre-header, don't leave your items behind. And then it's gonna go ahead and have a message. So if I click on edit content, let's go ahead and have a look what the email looks like. Now, the great thing about OmniSend is it's going to pre-populate the products that have been left in the shopping cart. So this is one of those amazing things where the integration really takes over. And basically, this is what it's going to look like, right? It's got the two different products. If there are two that you've used, if there's only one, it's only gonna show one. But it's just going to refresh their mind that they have actually gone to purchase something, but they haven't purchased. So it's really cool to see. And you can go ahead and once again, just drop things in where you want them to go. You can adjust the text if you need to. Um, you can play with everything that you need to go in here. It's all very simple to use. Um, there's not really too much to it. To be honest, you could almost even uh, just edit the bare basics, things like adding a logo, which you can actually do in the settings of your store. And you can change in little bits and pieces like the link. But apart from that, you don't actually have to do too much, right? It's gonna go ahead and do it all for you, which is really nice. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back and just continue on this workflow just to give you an idea of how things work. So moving forward, if they have received that email, they still haven't purchased after 11 hours, it is actually going to send them another email reminder, basically saying here, make your day by saying yes to yourself. It's going to once again, show them the items in the cart. And then finally, after 12 more hours, you can also add in hurry, your card is about to expire. So it's very easy to do. To be honest, you just press click, everything's going to import. If you actually set up your store settings right from the beginning, it's going to import those as well. So you don't actually have to do much at all. I highly recommend just proofreading everything, making sure it all says uh, everything it needs to. And then it's ready to go. So what you can do is go ahead and click update. You can go ahead, click start workflow. And this workflow is actually going. So next time, someone actually goes on my website they put in all their information as they're about to check out and for some reason they don't purchase guess what they're going to be sent an abandoned card email basically saying hey your items are still in your cart so it's very cool considering the amount of effort to set this up is extremely minimal right so it's very very cool now once again i'll just show you a quick uh, few extra workflows just so you can see what there is we've also got things here like the welcome messages card abandonment uh, we've also got post purchase so if you wanted to sell them something else those are there we've also got transactional emails and you've got all of these different things as well building loyalty reactivating customers so there is literally a workflow for every part of your e-commerce store so it's really good because these once again click the button they get imported adjust the smallest amounts of things and everything is going now, if we go to forms, I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a form because I highly recommend people add forms to their website. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a new form. Now, the one common form that I see a lot of people using is like a get a five or 10% off your first purchase. I believe it's a great way to actually collect emails as well as encourage sales because they're like, hey, I've already got, got like a discount on it. I might as well use it. So what you wanna do is choose the pop-up. I believe pop-ups are best come along and find a design that matches your sort of look and you can adjust all the different colors and everything inside of here. So I'm just gonna use this one here. I like the idea of having a little um, logo on the left and then you've got some stuff on the right. I'm just gonna call this the welcome pop-up, right? And then you come down to the bottom right and press edit content. Now inside here, you will see you can start actually editing things. So if you wanted to change the logo, I don't actually have a logo on this computer, but you can easily add it in here. Just press replace and upload it uh, up the top. Next we have here the text. So what I'm going to say here is get 10% um, off your first purchase at our store, right? Like so. And then uh, get our newsletter and save. That looks pretty good. Now you can also do here a uh, uh, you can add different things if you wish. You can ask for things like phone numbers, the cities, um, but in this particular one, we've left it off. I don't believe you need it right away. I think just initially getting the email is very important. And then we've got here the subscribe button. So what I'm gonna say here is um, get the 10% uh, discount, right? Easy, that'll encourage it. Now, if you come down, there's also some messages that are gonna pop up once they have actually filled out the form. It's gonna say things like, thanks for subscribing, you're in the list, all that sort of good stuff. Um, there's the GDPR as well, if you wanna play with that, as well as the TCPA. But what I'm gonna do is come back up to the top, go on to design, and then we can choose the box position. So if you want it on the top, bottom, left, right, depending on where you want it, I'm just gonna leave it in the middle. And then we've got customized theme. Now you can also decide to turn off the powered by OmniSend logo if you wish. And you've also got the Google mobile friendly version. I highly recommend checking that. But let's go ahead and customize some colors. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to have the button. I wanna change that to a blue. What I can do is click on that, choose a blue, press apply, and you can see quick and easy that on the pop-up itself, it's actually changing the design, which is really cool. And I'm gonna save those, and maybe I will change the border. So the input field, I will also make blue, like so. So that all looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, you'll match it to your brand or whichever um, accents you wanna add. So that's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and press save and proceed. And now it's going to ask a few extra things. Once they actually sign up, where do you wanna tag them? I'm gonna put them as newsletter um, deal, or I might just leave it as newsletter actually, just to uh, get an idea of where these people have come from. You can use double opt-in as well if you wish. That's going to uh, probably decrease the amount of people that are gonna be double opt-in. Uh, double opt Basically, it's um, going to send them an email saying, hey, are you sure that you wanna sign up to this newsletter? And then it's gonna send them the discount. 
Most of the time, uh, most people don't use the double opt-in because people are hesitant to sign up twice, if that makes sense, because they're gonna have to sign up here and then also in the email. Um, but that's entirely up to you. You've also got timing, targeting, and you've also got limits. So I'm gonna go ahead, press save and proceed once again, and I'm gonna go save and enable. Now this website is actually going, this, sorry, this pop-up is actually going. So you can go ahead and click preview if you wish. Now this is going to show up um, on your website and give you an idea of what it actually looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's all live, it's all ready to go. And this is amazing. So I'm very happy with that. Highly recommend putting in a pop-up because it is definitely going to help with conversions. Then finally, we have also the campaigns. And inside here is where you can actually create a newsletter sort of blast. Basically, this is perfect for things like um, if you have a sale going on, you can send an email campaign. If you're on an SMS campaign uh, membership level, so if you're on the standard and above, you can actually send out an SMS campaign from people that have put in their uh, phone numbers. And if you're wondering where do people put in their phone numbers when they're actually going to the checkout phase, um, once they actually choose a product, I might as well just show you, it's probably gonna be easier. Let's just say, um, if you want to purchase this product, they want to add this to cart. Very happy with that. View the cart, and it's going to say, proceed to checkout. This is an ugly store, by the way. Uh, but once people put in their information here, then it's going to take those phone numbers and the emails from here as well. And this is how it's actually going to trigger them, which is good and then you can send out all the info there. So that's basically it. It's a really powerful tool once again. Um, so that is OmniSend. The great part about it is majority of these templates are one click install, especially with the automation flows. So if you aren't super savvy with creating uh, e-commerce emails or email marketing in general, this is going to allow you to quickly install all of these different templates into your business so you don't have to mess around and try to learn an absolutely new skill. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the camera one more time. I wanna talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was OmniSend. As you can see, it is very easy to actually get set up. With just a few clicks of a button, you can get a entire email marketing automation workflow campaign installed into your business, as well as SMS messaging, and as well as web push notifications. So there is a lot with just a few clicks of a button. So if you wanna get started with OmniSend, I highly recommend just checking it out. Once again, you can get started for free. I have left a link in the description if you wanna help support the channel. But apart from that, that's Omni send i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet subscribe for more videos i'll see you on the next one